I think it's really good that the public is more aware of this. So they test sewage all the time um, because that's how you kind of track a lot of viruses. Um, and what this has shown is that earlier this year, they found and isolated the polio um, virus. And they found it again recently. And there's a n- mutations in it which are related to the one they found earlier this year, which means that there's a chance there has been some human-to-human transmission and mutation in order for that to happen. And that's the concern, really, because... Um, polio, like a lot of viruses, produces symptoms which are non-specific. So for doctors, you might come in with an upset stomach or sniffles, uh, and we might think it's something else. Um, only in very rare, rare cases, probably less than, well, less than 1%, does it develop into something that causes like muscle weakness and paralysis. I was going to say, because as far as GPs are concerned... Mm-hmm. Actually, polio isn't going to be on your radar, is it, at the moment? That's, that's one of the reasons why getting the news out there is important, because even we, we have getting, getting professional updates all the time. So we, we have to be across all the new, like with COVID, with the variants and what they might look like. But with, with polio, especially for the younger doctors, um, we haven't come across it. It, is, it was eradicated in 2003. Um, and and probably well before then as well. Yeah, actually. well before then. And it's almost the vaccine has been a victim of his own success because there's a generation of doctors who hadn't, haven't seen it. Um, so it's more making us aware, but also making the public aware that if they're not fully vaccinated, they need to get in contact with their GP. Yeah, and how do you find out? There'll be a lot of people who went, <laughs> was, I, was I vaccinated against polio? I suppose you f- start, first of all, with your GP and they'll be able to go through your health records. More than 90% of the general population have been vaccinated. What I don't want to do is start a panic. Mm. I think... Um, the focus is in six boroughs in London because the, the Beckton sewage plant um, kind of drains from those areas. Yes, I heard that they can almost narrow it down to several streets. Yeah, yeah, it's, it can be that accurate. that's how they test it. It's likely probably from one family or, or one community um, that, that's passing through each other. But um, it's, they're going to focus on the under fives because they're the ones that might not get the free immunity and, and they're at risk. From getting it. So what will they do? Try and uh, emphasize the need for a vaccine? For yeah, the, emphasize vaccine. The, because oh, unfortunately, the hangover from COVID that a lot of because a lot of people get their vaccine before they start school. So the preschool um, vaccine and then they get another booster in year nine so, and all year 10, 14, 15. And if the schools were shot, a, um, a lot of young teenagers didn't get that booster. So it's really much catching up the backlog but making them aware and then this community, they need to really push the drive for that to happen. It's interesting because we were saying earlier on, I mean, you remember people at school, I remember certainly young ad- when I was a child, young adults, a lot of people who wore the sort of the big shoes and the calipers and all that sort of thing, mm. which is polio related, which you just don't long, see now. Yeah, iron lung, all of these, these stories that people heard about. It's almost a level of complacency from both the public and doctors, whereas... Um, we've moved past those days. Yeah, I mean, it was common. When, yeah. when I, it was, I, I remember going to school and there was always one kid in nearly every year of school um, who had a caliper or had been affected by polio in some way. Yeah, and, and like I said, it's, it's almost the complacency is because of the vaccine because, being so successful. Yeah, successful. Yeah. Um, and what we need to do is encourage um, people to get those childhood vaccinations because... Um, what we don't want is that trend that w- was happening during COVID to continue. So we have that herd immunity and we have less people. And, and the reason why we, we're not worried about an outbreak at the moment is because vaccination levels are extremely high still. All right. So you need to make sure they stay that way.